Hey guys! Today I'll be showing you how to add screen shake to your Godot games without Co. Well there will be a few lines of code, but the shake will mostly be done with animations. Here we have a basic game with a player and an enemy. We want to add screen shake when the player touches the enemy to indicate impact. But we don't have it set up yet. I have a player character set up as a character body to be no. With the default movement script attached with some minor tweaks just to play sprite animation. Also there is our camera and collision shape. I have the same setup for the enemy, but removed the movement in the script and added an area to D so we can detect when touching the player. We can then add an animation player node to the player. This is what we will be using to create the camera shake. We create a new animation, in my case I called it camshake1. Then add keys for the camera offset at the start of the animation to zero. I set my animation speed to 0.5 and in between the start and the end where the offset is 0 I set the keys to values such as 20 on the X axis at around 0.1 and when it reaches towards the end I set it to minus 20 on the X I did something similar on the Y offset 2. This values ended up being high so I changed them later. You can add values such as 5 and minus 5 on the X axis and minus 2 and 2 on Y etc. I also set my animation to finish quicker, it's about 0.3 seconds. We add the player to a group we can call player. This is what will allow us to identify the type of group of the body in the area to be of the enemy. In the player script I added a variable reference to our animation player. And then add a hurt function that calls the animation. We then go to the enemy script and in the on body entered function. We add check if the body is in the group player and if so it calls the body's hurt function, which is what causes the shake. And just like that we have screen shake, awesome. Now maybe you want to make it a bit random more, so here is what you can do for that. We create a few more animations such as cam shake 2, cam shake 3 and as many more as you would like. Then change and add the following in our hurt function. Now we are done with this tutorial. You can now apply this in different ways in your own games. Hope you found this tutorial somewhat useful. Until next time.